Uh, hey guys, so uh, it's Brandon here uh, for Team Bump and Dumps Week 17 match against Matt, which is uh, who pilots the London Luxury team. Um, my last match with Matt was it, it was an awesome battle, even though I didn't win. Um, so I'm looking not only for revenge this week, but I'm also hoping to get my sixth straight win. Uh, so, big implications on the line for me. So, uh, I'm just going to go over my team quickly. Um, so, first off, it's your boy, uh, which is Choice Scarf Arisian. Uh The reason I went with the Choice Scarf this week is um, specifically because Matt's Choice Scarf Keldeo is one of the biggest threats in this entire league. Um, with Verizian having a Choice Scarf, it, mean, it forces a speed tie against choice scarf keldeo and also outspeeds choice scarf garchomp um so i just needed to be able to at least tie with the fastest pokemon on the field um beyond that just your standard choice verizian moves uh just the best coverage uh then i went with um especially defensive heatran um so it's kind of this is kind of like a tandem move like a tandem choice almost um, only because, like, um, because of this stupid fucking dog that Matt has. Um, Arcanine is a menace in this league. Like, he, he wasn't even drafted by Matt. He picked him up. But it has been working wonders for his team. Um, and so, like, this thing, barring close combat in Arcanine, which I don't know if he'll bring, um, it, it was kind of meant to stop this, or at least force, or at least force Arcanine to switch out. Um, like I would like to know if he has close combat on that Arcanine before I attempt to throw in Heatran, but um, just a standard set of like, just specially bulky and then consistency moves plus Stealth Rocks because Stealth Rock is too good. Um. We're trying a little something a little different with a bulky special attacking Claydol. Um, this this thing in my last match against Matt, Matt decimated me with um, with entry hazards. So since I dropped Braviary, so I lack a defogger. Um, I'm gonna be using Rapid Spin instead. Um, Earth Power for main stab. And then I just picked a couple coverage moves, Hidden Power Fire specifically for his Scizor, and um, Ice Beam specifically uh, for Garchomp. Uh, and then the Pokemon who's probably the MVP on my team this year, uh, Cresselia. Um, I'm trying something a little different as well. I'm not bringing Calm Mind. This time I'm trying Toxic because, again, of this stupid dog. Um, some t like toxic might just have to be a last resort, and it doesn't have to just be Arcanine. It's just that's a target for it. Um, the only thing I need to watch out for the toxic is um, Mega Scizor eats it up, and Reuticlus eats it up well. Um, and me toxicing Swallow also isn't exactly the greatest time for me. Um, actually, I think. Uh, excuse me. Actually, we're gonna change something. I'm gonna change uh, ice beam. I'm gonna change ice beam to combine. I don't think I should need ice beam. Um, like yes, it does. It does probably get a one hit KO on Garchomp, but I think I think combine will be better. Combined and psychic. So, um, then we have Mega Heracross. Running the speedy version this time. Um, I just need it. I just needed it to outspeed, or yeah, I just needed it to outspeed a few certain Pokemon. Um, to be honest, I don't even know if uh, if he runs speed investment in his Arcanine. Um, but that would be one reason to do that. Um, it guarantees it guarantees that I outspeed his Mega Scizor, barring. Barring he runs, like, full speed investment jolly nature. Because, like, the only thing different, I'm not 
do the only thing different that I'm doing is I'm not running a Jolly Nature. Otherwise, I could also for sure outspeed Exploud. But I don't even know if Exploud runs a Timid Nature. Um, but regardless, I, d I did need the speed, so I decided to run the speed instead of the bulk. Uh, and then my last mod is Physically Defensive, Rotom Wash. Honestly, I just wanted a good pivot, like Bolt Switch always works wonders, and Hydro Pump, again. Um, it's just con it's just the consistent set for Rotom. It's just it's always worked well uh, for me in this in this league, so I figured why not just continue running it. And now we wait. <coughs> All right. Oh, he does bring the Reuniclus this time. All right, and he brings Keldeo. Last time, I don't think he brought Keldeo with him. And lo and behold, he has that stupid fucking dog. Fuck that thing, man. And we got Keldeo and Rhydon, which will no doubt be holding Aviolite. Uh, Scizor. He, he has shown... He's shown cases where he doesn't always run uh, Mega Scizor, so I don't want to put in the fact that he for sure has the Mega Stone, because I don't know. Alright, so the obvious choice for him would be to lead Rhydon, I think, and then set Rocks, um, but there's also the chance that he could throw in Tentacruel. Um, because Tentacruel also does get access to, to, um, hazards, and also to spinning. Um, right now he's thinking, oops, um, he, he should know that I, some, like, I'm not afraid to run just the normal Heracross, so he might be thinking about whether, which set this is. Um, to be honest, I th think my safe lead is Verizian. Um, it hits those two, and I think, I want to check, Verizian on Tentacruel. And probably that. Okay, so this is a pretty physically defensive nature. What can he do to me, essentially? Like, I mean, if he runs Haze, I could see him. I don't know if he would run a poison type move, to be honest. Um, I think I think Verizian is still a relatively safe play, so I think I'm gonna go into that. So he leads with Keldeo. So the question is, this is interesting. Because his Keldeo is normally his late game sweeper. So the fact that he's leading it leads me to think that it might not be a sweeping set and that it might be a support set. Um I think I wanna see I wanna see what this thing can do, but I also wanna get damage off. So even if he switches this out I'm okay with getting free damage on anything with Leaf Blade, so I think Leaf Blade is a pretty safe click. Okay, so he goes into <coughs> he goes into his Tentacruel, which has Black Sludge. Okay, so that did 32%. That was actually that was the matchup I was looking at. 32 on a Leaf Blade. Okay, so that it stands to believe that. He's running a set similar to this. Okay, and if that's the case, what would he do? Um, if he's going to go with this, I feel like he's either going to Toxic? Because why would he go for a water move? Unless he's like anticipating me switching into into Heatran for whatever reason. Um, so it's not here. Here is a possible... No, it's not a 
real possibility. I almost want to attempt a double switch. Like, I almost want to go into here. Because I... My first thought is toxic here. And then into a scald. Which I would go into Rotom for. But to be honest, I don't see a reason why I can't go into Rotom right now. So I think I'm going to do that. And now I want to think. Okay. Um, so, what does this thing have on this? It says it runs Toxic Spikes and Haze. What did... So, I have my book in front of me. I know you guys can't see it. And in my book is, like, all of my previous matches against... Um, against all of my opponents and I also wrote down a couple a couple stuffs from their previous from their previous matches okay so his tentacruel normally does run toxic it also likes to run knockoff instead of this stuff it probably does have scald if I had to take a guess um, so in lieu of all that I think my best play is still to go here and see what he does. He does go for a knockoff. So, I mean... The fact that... The fact that I just lost leftovers on Rotom is really, really annoying. Uh, I want to see... What... Uh, crap. Can't type in the nicknames. You gotta do... Uh, for me to close, you gotta do the real name. Okay, I'm going to change haste to knockoff here. From 1.8 to 12.8. I'm going to do 13.5. Okay, so... What it looks to me is that it doesn't necessarily have attack investment, but maybe not a hindering attack nature. Um, what's the one where it's defense up and special attack? That's impish. That's more in the range, which is interesting. Okay, so we know he's using... Uh, we're going to go back to fold for a second. Okay, so we know he's using... A neutral attack nature, which would mean he's given up on either special attack or speed. Interesting. Okay. Um, and he hasn't. Well, he could still have toxic. Um, he has nothing. Oh no, he does have something that blocks volt switch. He has right on. Okay. Um, does he switch into that? Maybe. I don't know what he's thinking. So to be honest, I want to click Hydro Pump. Because I mean, it, how much damage does it do? 14.9 to 17.4. Like, less than a leftover. Less than a leftovers. Less than half of the leftovers anyways. Uh, or less. Or more than double leftovers. More than two leftovers. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, I think Hydro Pump's my play. Because if he goes into a ride on trying to stop a volt switch then it's going to get hurt and then anything else is free damage goes into re god damn it oh boy okay so he was anticipating a will-o-wisp um so what does this give me free reign to go into not a whole lot honestly um i guess it kind of has to be lava frog so he's going for a Psy Shock on Reuniclus. Which is unfortunate that he brought that instead of Psychic. Because Psy Shock deals with your defense stat instead of your special defense. And I made this thing specially defensive. So, uh, I think now we just have to click Rocks and see what it does. He's going for a Calm Mind. Problem is... Okay. 
Um, oh boy. Now we're kind of running a risk. Almost. Like, I want to throw this out to pressure it, but that's only running the risk that he will combine again. Which I don't know if he will. So, oh boy. This honestly could make or break the game. Um... Do I really need this? I kind of want to use it to check that stupid dog. So... Uh... Ugh, crap. Okay. Um, okay, we're already here. We're going to go to Reunicolus. Nicholas. Oh, you... Do you combine or oh, you combine? Well, all that'll be different is probably coverage. Add a plus one. Special defense... Not a whole lot. Um, but I think we're going to go to that anyways. Only because it's safer than trying to go into Heracross right now. Good thing I didn't go to Heracross right now. But I also have no leftovers recovery. So I think he's just going to spam Psy Shocker here. Crap. Well... I think this thing might be done for, to be honest. We're going to see. I kind of have to click Hydro Pump here. Because I know I'm faster, so I can't take advantage of the quote-unquote slow Volt Switch. Yeah, that's not a whole lot. But, alright, so there goes Rotom. Uh, so I shock and calm mind is what Reuniclus has. And I don't think we've had anything else revealed. Not yet. Okay, so this thing will f actually. So if it's a calm mindset, yeah. Uh, Heracross, big beetle, pin missile should kill. And this is, oh yeah, gets a kill easy. All right, so Mega Evolution. Um. Yeah, no, it's got to be Pin Missile. Because it's going to be free damage and anything else. So I have to click Pin Missile here. Do I? Yeah, I have to click Mega Evolution for sure. So Pin Missile definitely picks up the kill here if for whatever reason he doesn't switch out. Um, but I anticipate a switch out, to be honest. But I need to click Pin Missile on the off chance that he does. Well, let's think. Um, so if you were to switch out, honestly, pin missile is only for this thing. Like, I mean, it's not very effective against everything else. <laughs> so, but I also, outs I will outspeed him, should outspeed this, Bardic Bullet Punch, that I don't know. I have to click pin missile. I have to be safe. So he's going into Arcanine. So he does have Intimidate and not Flash Fire. So that was about 25% right there. Plus the leftovers. So he's definitely running. Er, crap. I wrote Intimidate in the wrong spot. Uh. There we go. Okay. Um, so I kind of have to switch this out. But all I know about it is that it has intimidating leftovers. I want to check what normally, uh, what it would normally run. It probably is defensive, considering how much damage I dealt. Impish with intimidate. And leftovers. It must be a morning sun thing. And there's a will o wisp. Okay, so this thing is supposed to not run speed EVs. But that's only if it's this set. So. I think we're going to play it safe. And we're going to go into Lava Frog here. 
Okay, so he does. So he goes for our morning sun. That's the second time that he has fucking bluffed me for me switching out Big Beetle and him morning sun. It, it was a long shot that I could have gotten the kill with Rock Blast, but you never know. Um, so here I think I just Earth Power. Yeah, yeah. Because like if this thing has close combat then kudos on the coverage, but I'm more anticipating Will-O-Wisp, Flare Blitz, and, um, and Extreme Speed, so here's a switch out. Okay, so now that I know, like, I don't have Paralysis anyways, so honestly, I think I'm just gonna stay out here and spam Lava Plume, just to try to get as much damage off of it as possible, but he could also recover at a point. Like, he might recover here, in which case, it might be nice for me to go back into Big Beetle. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do that. See if I call his bluff. I do. Awesome. So now I threaten this thing again. Um, the question is whether he'll go back into Arcanine. How much... Go back to Reuniclus for a minute. How much will Psy Shock do? Okay, so I can Rock Blast once and survive a Psy Shock, and then Pin Missile him a second time if he doesn't switch out. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Is that really what I want to do? Because me having a sub up and him going into Arcanine is. Or, like, him switching into Arcanine and then me putting up a sub is not ideal for me. Since I m don't miss the attack drop, and I'm just gonna have to switch out anyways. Wait, is that really... I'm gonna go back into Arcanine for a second. But I would be at minus one if he came in. Plus, he would also take 25% from rocks. So, you know what? It might not be a bad time for me to sub. It's it's a risk. I think I'm going to... He's going for a ride on instead. So, you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. And now, we just click close combat. And now, he kind of sends out whatever he wants to take a bunch of damage. But I think he's going to try to set up rocks here. So, uh, let's think. Okay, so close combat's gonna be the click. Um, he's either gonna set up rocks, or I think maybe double back into Reuniclus. That's kind of risky of him, but okay, he's just gonna stay out. Frig, so close to killing it. He definitely has. Where'd Ride on go? Uh, yeah, stealth rock. Okay. So, with that being the case, he still doesn't know that I have Rock Blast, so I'm going to click Pin Missile, because that'll still pick up the kill. Frig, he definitely has... <clears throat> he de Okay, so he's going for Clifford. Okay, so if that's the case, I think we're going to click Rock Blast. Nice. It'll be close. I think, yeah, we did pick up the kill. Oh, baby, yes. Oh my god, yes. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. We got rid of that stupid fucking dog. Big Beetle, you are you are amazing. I think Matt's just in awe. <laughs> Cause he doesn't run he didn't run speed EVs into it. I think he just ran the I think he pretty much ran the UU variant that we were looking at earlier with no speed investment and max defense and HP investment. But with max speed investment into Big Beetle that I outspeed that. So, I'm really happy that that stupid dog's gone. So, I think his play... I'm safe to stay in another for another turn with my sub up. So, honestly, I'm just going to click whatever... Oh, also, I didn't get the Intimidate because I already had the sub up. Even better for me. So, uh, I'm just pretty much going to click 
whatever can deal the most damage, which in this case will be close combat. So let's see if he runs the band or the mega. It's the mega. What does he do? It's fine. He goes for the aerial ace. Okay, so he has a scissor. That's scissorite and an aerial ace. I kind of figured that he would run aerial ace because he did last time. I think, does this thing get technician? It does. Okay. I thought I got light metal for whatever reason. Okay, so if that's if this is the case, um, we need to get out of here and go into no, excuse me, into Heatron. <clears throat> so then I think he'll probably aerial ace again. Yeah. But the only thing is he'll probably be running knockoff, which I mean at this point is whatever. Like. Uh, he's forced to switch out here, because even if he knocks off leftovers, it's not going to kill this, and Lava Plume will kill, um, will kill Scizor. So I think we just have to click Lava Plume and get damage on whatever he sends out, which is Reuniclus. So I'm not sure what he plans to do right now. To be honest, right now, um, so Heracross is kind of my win condition against this thing. I just need to play it right. I think I'm going to go into here. Yeah, I'm going to go into here and rapid spin. Because either right now he's going to Psy Shock or Calm Mind. Well, he's going to do one of the three things he's revealed. I think his last thing is a coverage move, but I don't think he wants to reveal it. I honestly think it's Focus Blast, so I'm not. Which is weird because he hasn't revealed it yet. It's either Focus Blast or Shadow Ball, and I'm not sure which one it is. He has, he has real reason to run either. Focus Blast for this, or Shadow Ball for Cresselia. So I think I'm going to go into... <coughs> I think I'm going to go into... Uh, oh, well, too late. Alright, fine. Um, yeah, his Rocks guy's gone, so I think we just Rapid Spin here. I don't care about the damage. We've got the... Yeah, it's Shadow Ball. Okay. Um, Alright. So now that we know that... Um... Honestly, I think we just Earth Power this thing. Because I don't need... Yeah, I don't need the Ice Beam. And I don't need the Hidden Power... I should need the Hidden Power Fire anyways. Because I didn't Earth Power this thing. <coughs> because, yeah, we already proved that... Clay Doll is faster than Reuniclus. So... Yeah, Earth Power is the safe play. It's super effective here. Otherwise, it's free damage on anything. So I'm perfectly fine with just Earth Power. He'll probably, if he doesn't switch out, he'll probably get the kill on Claydol, which is whatever. <coughs> um, Alright, so let's think a couple turns ahead, actually. Um... So if I earth power this and this dies, then it's back into here and threaten this to make him switch out. It has to be that. Um, so, otherwise though, I think if for whatever reason he switches out, and goes into Scizor, he'll lose 12% and then be at 24. So at Claydol uh, and Mega Scizor. Uh, okay, so we've seen just Aerial Ace on it, which is, I think it's, uh, I don't know what it is. Okay, on a bulky set it still does over 25%. So yeah, I don't see him switching into here, but who knows. All right, so he's just gonna, he's gonna try Psy Shock. Interesting, I think he was anticipating me switching out. But to be honest, I kinda just plan to sack this thing. So we're just gonna keep going, and if I get, you know what, I'm fine with that. Like it's annoying that he's recovering HP, but 
if I can get a special defense drop, I'd be happy. And even then, like, I'm just wasting his Psy Shocks right now. Oh, a nice crit. Alright, so there goes the kill. So now, uh, I have to go here. So, now that he knows that I am, in fact, packing Substitute, I don't think it's smart for me to click it again. Because I think he might stay in and try to attack. I think I just have to click Pin Missile and and just get free damage on anything that switches in, to be honest. <coughs> um, alright. Yeah, I think that's the play. Keldeo's still at 100, which I still have this for. I have to speed tie it, unfortunately. So I don't really have anything, like, for sure. This is just assuming that this is Choice Scarfed. Um, that's at 80. I plan to use this to counter that. Okay. I think, yeah, it's definitely Pin Missile. So he does stay in. Awesome, we get the KO on Reuniclus. Yeah, he was, he was trying to break my... He was planning on me subbing again. And he was trying to break my sub, I think. So now here's where he tries to bullet punch, and honestly, it might pick up the kill. Um, so we're hair across the beetle, and he's this. According to this, bullet punch does not a lot in close combat kills. So does pin missile and rock blast, actually. And pin missile is more accurate. Oh wait, but this thing has aerial ace. Don't be, a, don't be a moron, Brandon. <laughs> don't be a moron. He's U-turning. So he was kind of planning for that. Okay. I think now might be his time to reveal Keldeo. Yeah. So Keldeo didn't have leftovers, so it's not interesting. Okay. Um. So this thing doesn't have leftovers. Okay, where do I need to go with this? It's most likely packing Scald, or but it could also have Icy Wind. Um, I think I need to go here. It's running Toxic. Interesting. It might be... Honestly, it might be one of those stupid... Um, it might be a choice scarf, but toxic set. If that's the case, I should be pretty safe to psychic here. Because after stealth rock, I think Scizor dies to the psychic. And it's free damage on Tentacruel as well. I think I need to psychic here. Because I know Matt's done that before. He did it against me, actually, I think. Where he runs a choice scarf on this Keldeo and then still runs toxic. It's just for insurance if he wants to toxic something. Like, for example, this, like, Keldeo has a hard time breaking through the bulk of, um, of Cresselia without a boost from Calm Mind. I'm not even sure if it gets Calm Mind. Um, so, anyways, I think, no, so what's he got? He's running something weird. Okay. Um, and if that's the case, so let's see. So how much does Skull do? Enough for me to... I can't Moonlight here. Psychic did 54. So it's a kill if I Psychic. It's not a kill if he Scalds and, and then the Toxic Effect. I might... I think I forced this out. At the same time, I'm not sure what its item is. Because it wasn't Life Orb either. It could be something dumb. Like, it could be like an Expert Belt. Um, I think... I think we still click Psychic, though. He was trying to prevent me from Moonlighting. But I think he just kind of... I think he sealed his fate with that move. Because uh, now most of my stuff... Takes out... <coughs> most of my stuff takes out all of his crap. Um, he was trying, yeah, he was trying to stop a Moonlight, but he didn't get it, which is interesting. I wonder what set this Keldeo is. 
Yeah, so if he's going here. Um I need to see how much Parisian Zed headbutt Zen headbutt can do to a tentacruel. And like that. Only thirty six to forty two. If I actually had to guess, he might be rapid spinning here. Wait, let's go back here. It's still the most that Parisian can do to it. I'm gonna vote Mega Heracross. Uh, here we go. Can this do it? Over 50 with Rock Blast. Okay, so we need to think how to not mess this up. Okay, so with me not being able to Moonlight here, he might try and go for a kill, but he might. There's also a good possibility that he's going for a rapid spin. So, honestly, I think I just need to click Psychic. Because this thing doesn't get recovery outside of its Black Sludge. That is really stupid, Matt. Matt, that is so dumb. Matt, that was really scummy. I'm actually really upset with you. I hope you watch and hear this. That was really bad. So, okay, knowing that it's confused, honestly, this might be, oh boy, but if he tries to confuse Ray, big beetle. Okay, um, I think it's 25% on confusion. What do we know that it does have knockoff? So he might just go for that. So, we know that he's running a set similar to this, with how much damage my previous attacks had done. So, it's got 242 speed, apparently. And I have 249 speed on Big Beetle. So, if we... Oh, but I, can, I can't threaten a kill with this. Honestly, I think it needs a Psychic and Hope. Okay, I did survive. Yes. Alright, we got damage off. So now Poison probably kills this. And now I think Big Beetle cleans up. Because I should be able to outspeed this. And then I'll be able to pick up a kill. Either. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Oh no. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh come on. That is so ass. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright. Well, if that's the case, I am not risking confusion on it. So we're going into Lava Frog. Hey, I like that. Alright, so I should be able to tank another Scald. And honestly, if he wants to fucking spam Confuse Ray, then whatever. Then I'll just do that to him. Uh, right, he has Scald. Alright. Goes for a knockoff. Knocks off my item. Fine, Matt. You can have that small victory. Alright, so your stupid fucking jellyfish is gone. So now all that's left is this. Which I should be able to outspeed. Because Bullet Punch can't kill either Verizian or Heracross, and at the same time, uh, it's not fast enough to outspeed both of them. So I think Matt's got this one lost. It was close, Matt, but even if you kill Heatron, I think I still got you. So he does have Brick Break, but that's whatever. Alright, let's not fuck this up. Yeah, GG, Matt. Whew, that was close. Yay, I got my sixth win in a row. Um, so that was the second last game of the season for me. Um, oh, wait, I got a taunt mat. Six. Six. Oh, not six win. Six win. 
six wins in a row. He got confused. I'll talk to him after about that. Uh, all right. So uh, next week is my last match of the season before we our league starts playoffs, and it's uh, and uh, it's against Alex who uh, pilots the Belleville Bays. Or no, that's his. That's his smoke on username. The Belleville Blossoms. That's his actual name. Um, and uh, I'm looking for sweet revenge on that one because I lost to him in our very first week of this league. So, uh, so yeah, I'm excited about six straight wins and hopefully I end strong to go into playoffs. So, uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next week.